<laughs> good day, good day. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano with Smokey the Bear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you all know who Smokey the Bear is, but he's a he's a forest uh, icon, forest reserve. Help help prevent Smokey, prevent wildfires. There you go. That's a little bookmark I had. I have these on display, and I got a little Smokey the Bear in the background helping me out. Hey, how the hunk are ya? Let's get to it. Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. Yeah, what do we have here today? This is uh, interesting casting. I'm sure that some of you already know what we're going to be looking at, but let me show you, all right? We're looking at the best of the best right now, the best one I've got. Uh, let's look at it. What's your guest? Bam! Corgi! Yes! This is a Corgi Land Rover 109 wheelbase. Yes! And uh, let's just talk a little bit about uh, Corgi produced by uh, Meat, Met, Met Toy, Playcraft, LTD, started in 1960, no, 1956, and uh, obviously in the UK, all right? This particular model is model number 421. <clears throat> all right, so what do we got? This is, this is very interesting. I, this is what I've got for casting 421 um not that many as far as <laughs> not that many as far as uh as this casting <coughs> uh, would go excuse me these were produced let's see starting i believe uh 1976 and went all the way up to what to 1991 or so something like that so this has been around a while this has been <clears throat> a really good casting for um corgi i believe very heavy duty um uh why i just don't know where to start <laughs> so anyway there, there the the base is uh metal has corgi on the bottom Pretty good detail. Corgi all obviously does uh, a very good job with details and stuff like that. You got uh, crazy little tires on them. Good traction there. Uh, chrome. This this particular model has uh, chrome rims on it. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice details in the casting here on the driver's side. It's got. Uh, take a look at the front end here. So this is a Series 3 with the uh, plastic uh, grill would be on the front. Some detailing, some on the grill, some on the headlights there. Not bad. Kind of got a little wheel perched up on top there. That's pretty neat. All right, we'll flip her around. Now this one is the Forest Fire Warden. And uh, that's why Smokey the Bear was with us today. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Anyway, this one particularly came out in 1979, this particular livery. And uh, it's just a basic sticker that's stuck on the side there. You can kind of just see it just stuck right on there. And uh, the only moving parts, it does have a trailer hitch on it. This was this one is intact and well, uh, uh, yeah, well preserved there. Uh, it has a back opening door, and you can see, I guess that's where all the uh, fire, forest fire rangers would pile into. Oh, as you see, this is a right hooker, so they're from England, so nice closing back door there, full tailgate door. No details on the back, but uh, metal door, metal on metal, so... But you can see it has the grab grab handles down here on the bumper. Just a very neat truck. Let's take a look at the top. Now, all of them that I have are missing 
Um, the side ladder, as you see here on this little plastic piece here, there's a side ladder that comes down practically all the way down here. Kind of a, if you ask me, it's kind of like a, a design flaw for Corgi because that's the first thing that snaps right off. I don't believe that it uh, hitches or, you know, hooks onto the rear quarter panel there. It just comes down off from the plastic lugger track on the top. And the plastic, every last one of them I see are <laughs> warped, warped from heat or whatnot. Just, uh, just, just not very good uh, plastic quality there. But very sharp truck, very sharp truck. Now they did quite a few of these. Uh, like I say, this is uh, 79. Now earlier models, uh, there's a yellow orangish one. A, solid color that has a black roof rack that came out in 76 there's a, a gold copper colored one with a trailer and that that actually says corgi pony club on it that's another variation there's a green one like a metallic green with tan uh zebra print stripes in the and the, the zebra stripes are just on the bottom here. They don't go up to the top at all. But there's a, a green one and a white one. And, and one of the other ones uh, that I've seen, 1985, they did a safari one, which was a tan color. And then it was all muddied up. Uh, nice brown tan color. And it's all muddied up. It says safari on the side. That would be really a nice one to get a hold of. Uh, 1985 for that. They had a red one that uh, said uh, Royal Mail with the badge on it. That was in 1984. Coast Guard one had, uh, you know, blue with the yellow top on there. Didn't have the roof rack on there, but there is uh, quite a few of these. Like I say, they ran from, what, 1976 all the way to 1990, 90, something like that. Uh, one of the interesting ones that I saw uh, didn't have the spare tire on it. And I've, I've done some looking around eBay and stuff like that and uh, Google search. One of them was uh, a commemorative uh, special edition uh, for Land Rover Owner uh, Magazine, LRO. And they had that on the top and it was on the side. So it was a special commemorative edition 1990 that would be kind of something to get a hold of uh white with uh lro on the hood nice block lettering there the other one that would be kind of interesting i don't know what year it came out in but uh the commemorating uh the one millionth corgi land rover uh came out and that had special badging and stuff like that but go ahead and take a look at uh, some of those things. Like I say, just give it a Google uh, search there, number 421, and you can see a lot of different variations. But anyway, this is one of the nicer ones that I have. Very, very kind of cool. I like this one. And uh, let's so let's take a look. I got some interesting things here that I'm not really sure on uh, what, what we're gonna do here. Here's one that, and, and these, I, I got all these off eBay, yeah. Uh, no way would I find something this cool in the States. You know, this one here is uh, missing the back door. Played with condition, but pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Uh, that, I, I don't know that the tire wobbles. It's just a regular tire that they uh, pin up there on the, on the hood. This one, he's been in the... Uh, Working man, he's got mud all over the place. He's <laughs> missing the back door. I don't know if you can find uh, uh, replacement doors to put in there, but you'd have to uh, crack that open. This is uh, one rivet construction that kind of pins into the back there, but uh, one rivet up front here, and uh, so that's that's the other one. It's got corgi on there. Now this is the interesting part. So that's the two that say Corgi on them. Now I've got these two here and uh, we're gonna flip right out to the base here. This one does not say Corgi on it or this one. So I'm not really sure uh, what the story is there. Uh, like I say that uh, here in the States, you know, this one's got a back door to it. 
Here in the States, you know, we, we you know, these are uh, Great Britain toys, so, uh, you know, there's a lot more information and uh, stuff like that for, for people to know about it. Here in the States, we don't really, we're not wizards at this stuff, at least I'm not. So if you know why this one is blank, uh, these two are blank, they, they're they virtually the same as the other ones, you know, the chrome rims. I know that there was some that had red wheels on it, red rims and uh, tires. Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what was so special about those at that, but uh, just a neat little truck. They're, uh, got, I guess, what you call suspension. And um, so yeah, what what's the deal with that? That's kind of interesting. I could not find any information. Uh, you know, there's no wiki on that, you know, to see, you know, exactly uh, what, what the story is there. The other one that I have that is uh, the casting 421 is this one here. I bought this on eBay and uh, the police livery on it. Uh, you can, that white really shows out the details on the hood or on the front grill there. A uh, little bit of details on the headlights. These have tinted windows and, uh, but uh, the only difference is this one is Corgi Tronics. Yeah, this one, uh, let's see, when did these come out? 1982 and uh, there's a little uh, battery pack that you can, well, you put a nine volt battery in it and that, mine did work. I forgot that I, uh, I didn't even, but you put a little uh, nine volt battery on there and uh, sights and sounds, it did light up. Uh, I Boy, I should have looked at that. I thought I had a battery in there. But anyway, so this one is um, uh, 1982, number 1005, I'm not really sure. But they also came with the chrome or red rims on there. So really, really kind of cool. This is kind of towards the, you know, the later part, 1982. They all ran all the way up to the 1990s. But uh, very, very kind of cool. I like these. They're they're heavy duty. Like I say, that metal base, metal body. The interior is tan. This one here, all they did was just add in all that <laughs> electronics. I don't think they really messed around too much with, uh, you know, uh, taking the interior out or anything like that, you know. They just went ahead and uh, just added that, uh, d darkened the windows so they could hide some of the uh, electronics, but uh, real cool, real cool. There you go. You've got a Corgitronics and the regular Wharton, the Fire the Forest Fire Warden, very nice. I really like this. This is what I got in my collection. What do you have in your collection? Is uh, do you, I'm sure some of you guys across the pond has got more uh, varieties of the livery and colors. Um, like I say, these are very hard to get. Uh, I did buy these off eBay, and I do buy practically most of the time from just U.S. sellers. I don't buy uh, overseas too much on eBay. So they are here in the States somewhere. And uh, what do you have? I'd like to find out. If you like this channel, go ahead, give me the thumbs up. Yeah, Smokey the Bear, he would appreciate that very much. <laughs> what what uh, varieties do you have and uh, how many do you have? Are these pretty, uh, are these one of your favorite castings? This is an all right casting. I, I like it a lot, it's really cool. But uh, let me know down below what kind of comments and, and uh, what kind of liveries you've got. Otherwise, you can go on over to uh, Facebook, Roverland, and share there when I post the video over there. Or on Instagram, at Roverland Channel. Well, that'll do it for today. Thanks very much for joining me for a Corgi number 421. Remember, kids... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day!